attention grid will all non-essential personnel leave the grid now. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and guess what time it is? It's time to go racing with our A main. 40 laps scheduled for tonight's race. 40 laps scheduled for tonight's race. 21 drivers on track. 21 drivers starting our provisional tonight, starting 21st, the Bourbon Motorsports entry of Jared Burba. Starting the drivers that transferred out of the B, starting position number 20 on the outside. It's going to be Mark Hackathorn. Inside of him, position 19, the Flying Hawaiian Curtis Barrows. Zach Holloway, position 18, Michael Rosendahl, 17th. Eric Wilkie will start 16th. Brennan Rogers, 15th. Brandon York, 14th. Alex Coronado will start 13th. Larry Moody, 12th. Rob Strickland will start 11th. Kevin Lovies will start that 10th spot. Chris Stringfellow, 9th. Matt White, 8th. Josh Gaiman will start 7th. Tyler Beekner, 6th. Kyle Spence will start 5th. 4th will go to Ty Gardner. Cody Harlow, Zach Raider, and Arston Carr. You know what time it is. It's showtime! Green flag is out, and we are underway. And there's a four-way battle for the lead. Car out to the front right away. Zach Radar with a slide job there side by side down the front stretch. One lap in the books. The field right now, Car, Radar, Gardner, Hartlub, Spence, your top five. Beekner, White, Gaiman, and Lovies. String fellow around off the top ten. Oh, and we got cars around in the back. Austin Carr still out in front. Zach Radart in second. Ty Gardner in third. Then Harlem Spence and White. Gaiman, Beekner, Stringfellow, and Strickland now the top ten. Four laps in the books. That's lap number five now. Ticked off the checklist. Austin Carr all by himself in the lead. Zach Radart, Ty Gardner, Cody Harlem, and Kyle Spence. Back to racing, seven laps in the books. Here comes lap number eight. Austin Carr by himself in the lead. About three-tenths between him and Zach Radart, your second-place driver. Ty Gardner in third, Cody Harlow and Kyle Spence. That's the field. They're starting to spread themselves out a bit here. Right now, the first battle I see, the battle for six. Gaiman and White side by side. Now Rogers with a slider trying to move up into seventh. Tyler Beekner currently holding that spot. So right now, the battles are for sixth and eighth. Sixth and eighth are the current battles. White with the advantage over Gaiman. Rogers now with a slider on Beekner. Side by side, two rows back. White, Gaiman, Beekner, and Rogers. That's your sixth, seventh, and eighth. Eight, six, seventh, eighth, and ninth place drivers all battling it out. But back to the lead. Radart trying to make some moves on dirt. Austin Carr, they're side by side for the lead. Let's see if they can make it stick. Not going to happen this time. 12 laps in the books. Ty Gardner now trying to battle for that second place spot. Him and Radar are about to be side by side. Now we've got a three-way battle heating up for the lead, but don't count Cody Harlow up because he's coming for him now too. Radar with the slider trying to get in front of Austin Carr. Oh, and a little contact. Not going to stop Austin Carr though because he shoots right back into the lead. 
Here comes lap number 17 in the books. That means 23 more to go. 23 laps to go here in the high explosive racing Tulare Thunderbolt shootout. Radart still trying to make some moves on Austin Carr. He's not able to make them stick, though. It's all Carr out in front. Radart in second, and Gardner halfway home this time by. It's dirt. Austin Carr out in front. Radart and Gardner. Spence and Hartlove fourth and fifth. That's your top five on the track right now. Don't forget, we'll be back in action next week live from Lincoln Speedway. Hour earlier than normal will be start at 8.30 Eastern Time. That's 7.30 Central. 22 laps in the book. Austin Carr currently getting held up by some lap traffic. Not going to hold him up too much, though, because he goes right around him. Now, Radar trying to make a move. Not going to make it stick. 23 laps in the book. 17 to go. Radar not letting Carr get out of his reach. Keeps running that low side while Carr stays on the top. They're about to be side by side again. Left 24 in the books. More lap traffic coming into play as they are side by side for the lead. 25 and 15 to go. It's still Carr, Radar, and Gardner, your top three. Spence, Hartlove, and White. Four, five, and six. Beekner, Rogers, Gaiman, and York, your top ten here at the Thunderbolt Raceway. They complete lap number 26. It's still Carr, Radart, and Gardner. Carr running consistent 13 fives. 13, five, nine, six, his last lap. Lap traffic playing for that third place spot as now Kyle Spence trying to make moves. Kyle Spence trying to make moves on Ty Gardner for third. Austin Carr still leads the way. Oh, and tough break for Josh Gaiman getting to the wall hard. He'll have to go to the back. Carr bring, or Gaiman brings it into the pitch, rather. As they come out of turn number four, just 10 more laps to go. 10 more times around the track. Austin Carr, Ty, Zach Radart, Ty Gardner, and Kyle Spence all in contention for this, lead, or for this race win. They'll come around, they'll see nine laps to go this time by the lap car of Jared Verba, that Verba Motorsports Pat Blue Ribbon entry. Working the inside of the speedway as Carr and Radar both go around him. Radar drops to the low side along with Verba. Verba again, a lapped car. He's currently sitting in position 17. He was our provisional tonight. He got the highest points contender provisional. Seven more times around this little half mile facility. Dirt Austin Carr out in front. Radar in second and Spence still in third now. Spence in third. What happened to Ty Gardner? Gardner way off the pace. Dropped back all sorts of spots. He now sitting three seconds behind third, so I missed what happened there, but tough break for him getting him out of one of our pain spots. Five more times around. That means two and a half miles, two and a half more miles around this facility. Radar still trying to make moves side by side for the lead. Three more laps to go when they come around this time. Three laps to go this time by. So now Spence battling out with Radar. They moved the lap car up the track and Spence into the wall. But it looks like Austin Carr now all by himself. Smooth sailing from here. Two laps to go. Austin Carr out in front. Zach Radar in second. Kyle Spence, Ty Gardner, Matt White, and Brennan Rogers. The Bourbon Motorsports car is battling it out. White flag is out. One more lap to go. Radar to the lead. 
They're battling side by side for the lead. Wilkie, the lap car, gets in car's way. They're side by side as they head into turn number three. Radar on the low side, car on the top. Radar with a slider, they're side by side of the finish. It's gonna be Austin Carr with the win. Zach Radar will finish in second, just two one hundreds behind him. Kyle Spence, Ty Gardner, and Brennan Rogers, your top five. So I'm gonna bring the top three up here for interviews. Top three to the top four interviews. Looks like our winner pulled off and so did Kyle Spence. So Radar will be the only one here for the interviews. So top three will User come on up channel. here. User was moved out of your channel. So just a matter of moments here and I'll have your third place finisher and your your winner along with Zach Radar who finished off in second. We'll see if Kyle Spence is going to be able to talk to us. User was moved to your channel. I'm here with the third place finisher, Kyle Spence. Spence, how does it feel to come out here with a third place? Um, it was definitely a lot better than I thought. Uh, I was figuring I'd be in like not even in the top ten, but I was able to hold off the top three and uh felt like I had a chance to win it there at the end. I finally caught up to radar and um uh I don't even know who was leading I think it was Carr and um got up to them and fighting through lap traffic and thought I could get him but uh we went three wide and kinda got the short end of the stick. Well, you have any sponsors you'd like to thank tonight, Kyle? Um, I'd like to thank UDSRA and all the Keystone crew. Um, Kevin Lovey's car love helped me with the setup a little tonight. Um, I'd like to thank Bet's Garage, Amsoil Racing, and that's about it. You guys for putting this on. It's awesome. Well, congratulations, Kyle. User was moved out of your channel. User was moved to your Up channel. Up next, the second place finisher. He was so close to victory, he could almost taste it. Zach Radart. Zach, man, you were battling it out with Carr. I Attention, Greg. You're all the non-essential personnel. We need to work now. I side to the finish. How does it feel to come out of here with a second place? Uh, it would have been better if I would have won, but he was faster than me um, on the top, so I just tried to save my tires and save my fuel and run the bottom and apparently I did that too cautiously but I don't know he raced good he raced clean uh, he was faster than me I don't I don't know I'll just say it like that he was faster than me and I had nothing for him and I don't know I tried to close him off on the top but that didn't work well you have any sponsors you'd like to thank tonight um, definitely Bourbon Motorsports. If it wasn't for them, this league wouldn't be running, and I probably wouldn't be running this league. Um, definitely Ty for helping me out and definitely doing my graphics before this race. Um, it was it was a big deal for me to run a uh, brain cancer car for my grandma, and I'm probably going to be running that car for the rest of the year. Well, congratulations, Zach. Thank you. We're going to move it on over to the winner of our 40-lap A-Main. We went caution-free, and he led it from start to finish a few times. He was challenged by Zach Radar, but he eventually came out victorious. Austin Carr. Austin, how does it feel to come out of here with a win at the Thunder Bowl Raceway? Oh, well, it feels pretty good. It wasn't easy, but it feels pretty good. Austin, how did the track? How how was the track tonight? I mean, I saw you you kept hooking up and just pulling away from the field. I mean, at the end, Radar had a little sum for you, but you still pulled him at the very end to hold on to that first place finish. How was the track? Track was awesome. Uh, that cushion was tough to hit. If you messed up just a little bit, it's they really caught you. Like how Radar caught me a couple times there. Uh, I was just worried about my tires falling off or and just trying to keep it smooth and out of the wall. Awesome. What sponsors would you like to thank tonight for that win? Uh, Dirt Motorsports, uh, Fast Time Racing, uh, with Troy and all of them. And I'd really like to thank uh, 
Helms for giving me the setup for tonight. Uh, really worked out. Congratulations, Austin. Thank you. Well, I want to thank everyone who tuned in to watch the live broadcast tonight and everyone who's going to be watching in the future. Don't forget, we'll be live on Thursday with either the Fast Time Racing League or the Dirt Series Race. Maybe both. We don't know yet. So tune in. Keep an eye on Facebook. I want to thank everyone for coming out. Again, my name is Mike Berba. I'm from Berba Motorsports. We all want to thank everyone who came out to contend in tonight's race, everyone who watched tonight's race, and anyone who's going to contend with us in the future. Thank you and good night.